Reunion. Picard finds himself determining the next leader of the Klingon Empire amid an undercurrent of treachery. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that took like an hour. <laughs> the Enterprise encounters a Klingon ship, and they're hailed by Kalar, who says she wants to beam aboard with an urgent matter to discuss. So it's going to be a Worf episode. I like Worf episodes. In the past, they've usually been the good ones when we have a string of crap. So I was looking forward to this one. Agreed. Worf doesn't want to greet Kalar due to his dishonor from his discommodation, but Picard's not having it. Lieutenant, you are a member of this crew, and you will not go into hiding whenever a Klingon vessel uncloaks. When she beams over, she brings a Klingon child with her, who she calls Alexander. Worf's a little uneasy, and it's clear that he's the father. I did like the chemistry between Worf and Kalar right away. It's maintained from the emissary, where she last appeared. Kalar tells the crew that the Klingon Empire may be headed toward a civil war. Kempek had been maintaining peace, but he is dying, and has come to talk to Picard. Two factions are trying to seize power, and Kempek reveals he's been poisoned by the leader of one of them. And he tells Picard that only he can mediate things in Kempek's place. Picard doesn't want to, but he doesn't have a choice. The leaders of the two factions are Gauran and Duras. For those of you that don't remember Sins of the Father, Duras was a total piece of f shit who <laughs> shit his shit. When Kempek is explaining things, I like how he gets up and sits in a different chair for a dramatic effect. Worf finds Alexander in the nursery snarling at the other kids. He talks to him about being a warrior, but Alexander says he doesn't want to be a warrior. So Worf confronts Kalar about it, who says Alexander should be free to choose his own path. The other Klingon ships with Gowron and Duras arrive, and I like how Picard talks to Duras about the time of the ceremony. One hour! What is the delay? There is no delay. It is the time I have chosen. I was intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> Worf obviously does not want Duras to lead the Klingon Empire, but Picard says the only way to prevent that is to prove that Duras poisoned Kempek. I kind of like that we haven't seen Gowron yet, and we don't know too much about him. And when we finally meet him at the start of the ceremony, he of course looks super suspicious with his bulging eyes. I remember as a kid thinking when I saw him, holy crap, that is the bad guy. How can you not realize that's the bad guy? I think some of it was just the lighting. Well, the Google search, when you type in his name, finishes it with eyes. <laughs> so it obviously stands out for people. Yeah. Garon is played by Robert O'Reilly, who was previously on this show in the episode Manhunt. Things are very tense, and the Klingons don't trust Picard, and then there is an explosion, in which two Klingons are killed, one from each side. Before we find out anything about the explosion, Kalar and Worf are talking, and she wants him to be involved in Alexander's life. But Worf says he cannot take that responsibility because of his dishonor. Picard needs more time to figure out who poisoned Kempek and Kalar brings up an old tradition that hasn't been followed in a long time to extend the ceremony. That will take hours. Or days, depending on your cooperation. Worf gives Alexander a demonstration of his sweet combat skills with his batleth. Make it part of your hand. Part of your arm. Make it part of you. Gowron talks to Kalar and tries to bribe her into speeding things up. He also suggests what happened to Kempek might happen to her, too. Data and Jordy find evidence that the explosion was caused by a device usually used by Romulans. And Picard fears a new Klingon-Romulan alliance. When he informs Gowron and Duras, they appear to be upset, and each says they will investigate further on their own. I like Duras's analysis. It was a bomb! Meanwhile, Kalar tries to find out more about Worf from the ship's computer, and when she links in with the Klingon internet, she finds that some information was blocked by Duras. Duras finds out that Kalar's snooping and goes to confront her. She tells him she knows what happened in the earlier episode, and that she believes that he is allied with the Romulans. Beverly confirms this by figuring out that the bomb was actually implanted in one of Duras's men. Worf takes Alexander to Kalar's room and finds her fatally wounded. Before she dies, she tells him that it was Duras and indicates that she wants him to take care of Alexander. Worf finally decides to go take out that f***ing fuck Duras. <laughs> what did you think about the fight? It was pretty good. Yeah, 
I was afraid that the crew would get there in time and make a plea for him to stop, and then he would stop and whatever, but he totally f***s that f***er right in the f***er. <laughs> when they showed him swing down out of frame, I honestly thought he was not going to have killed him. I'm glad he did. It reminded me of the 2003 Daredevil movie, where Daredevil swings his billy club down at the kingpin at the end, and it turns out he didn't hit him. Wow, way to pull that out of nowhere. Where the hell did that come from? I know you're a huge Daredevil fan, but just that movie, nothing else. <laughs> Picard reams Worf out for his actions, but asks when Worf will let the truth be known about his dishonor, now that Duras is dead. Worf says the time is not yet right, because the Klingon High Council will not admit the truth so easily, but... The day will come when my brother and I will... convince them to speak the truth. Worf decides to send Alexander to grow up with his human parents. But he does admit to him first that he is his father. Reunion. Overall? This was another really good Worf Klingon episode. It was great to see so much strong continuity to what came before, with both Duras and Kalar returning. I thought Kalar was a stronger character in this episode than last time, and she was already a pretty good character. And the introduction of Alexander just made things more interesting, even if he didn't end up doing a whole lot. I thought things wrapped up a little too quickly, and I hope they get back to the Romulan angle later, but that is a very minor complaint. I gave this episode an A. I also gave this one an A. I thought it made sense that Ronald D. Moore co-wrote this one, as he also co-wrote Sins of the Father. I thought that bringing Kalar back worked really well. She is a strong character in her own right. She actually did stuff on her own without having to rely on the actions of the regular cast. And the continued development of her relationship with Worf was great, especially since so much of it was done without being straight up explicit. It was good writing. And her death had real purpose, both serving as a reason for Worf to finally take action against Duras, but also to accept Alexander as his son. The fact that her and Worf's chemistry was already so strong made her death's impact that much bigger. Gowron did a great job of appearing to be the bad guy, even though we know Duras is a piece of shit already. It made the final reveal a little less obvious, and we still don't know that Gowron's a good guy, he's just not as bad as Duras. Top notch, and again, Worf episode, so I guess I'm looking forward to the next one based around him too.